All right, a very special Purple Playground now built and ready for all the fun, and it's all thanks to the Ravens. WJZ is live tonight. Stetson Miller tells us about the new playground at Edgecombe Circle Elementary School. Stetson. Hey, Rick. Yeah, check out this purple play playground. It's a pretty cool set that they've got here right now. And you can see some kids are already out here having fun on it, giving them a much needed space to come out and have a little fun to get outside during the pandemic. A new jungle gym, swing set, and playhouse, all decked out in the Ravens logo, is now ready for students at Edgecombe Circle Elementary. We are so excited about the playground. We just got a call one day with this wonderful opportunity. Principal Monica McLean says the school was selected to receive a new playground courtesy of the Ravens and nonprofit Kaboom, which focuses on ending play space inequity. It was much needed for the students here. Our last playground that was here was not in the best shape. It was deteriorating, it had holes in the slide, it just wasn't ideal for children. The Ravens selected Edgecombe Circle after it merged with Dr. Martin Luther King Elementary and Middle School. This school at Edgecombe, um, you know, just really appealed to us. The whole project was really interesting in the fact that they were going to be merging schools and, um, you know, having a lot of new kids, and this playground was really going to provide another opportunity for them to collaborate, get to know each other. The construction of the playground was delayed by a few months, but they were able to finish it in late August. And even though students aren't here at school now, it still had a lot of visitors from the surrounding neighborhood. It's for the community, which is why we purposely did not put a gate around it at all. We want it to be something that everyone can access. And the Ravens do plan to come here for the official opening when it is safe to meet. Live in Edgecombe, Stetson Miller for WJZ.